being a, a first generation Latino, a male growing up in South Los Angeles with uh, two parents that didn't have a high school education, I didn't have anybody to actually mentor me or orient me or give me some kind of guidance. I'm thankful for my parents that they were very encouraging and they never um, lost sight of how important education is. But at the same time, it, it was difficult because I had no idea what it meant to take science forward. We didn't have the financial, um, the financial uh, means or resources to actually choose a four-year university that you know that I that I would want to go. So I decided to take a, the junior college route. I came across a lot of uh, science professors at those community colleges that kept me encouraged. Um, a biology professor at Southwest, a chemistry professor at Trade Tech, uh, and in Cal State Dominguez Hills actually was the place where I, I actually came across a professor, Dr. Helen Chun, who became my mentor. Um, she became a mentor in this program called uh, the Mark Ustar program and a second program called the MBRS RISE program. Two programs that promote um, diversity in the sciences and what they do is they basically give undergraduate students the ability to be exposed to uh, the science uh, that actually happens in a laboratory to running a western collecting cells small things like that but they also provide you a stipend so that while you're working you get a little bit while you're there in the lab you get a little bit of, of funding for yourself um, but it was there that I actually got exposed to the greater scientific community that I didn't know existed I chose to go to the PhD program at UCLA at UCLA, I decided to join the lab of Dr. Dinesh Rao. Dr. Rao studies the areas of leukemias and lymphomas, which are cancers of the blood, disorders of the blood, and the areas that uh, he focuses on are the genetic material RNA, um, because we know that it's very important in how these diseases and how these cancers actually develop. Um, the next uh, step in the academic uh, path for me was to get a uh, postdoc position, either a university or a hospital, to continue some type of research. Here at USC and Dr. Ron's food lab, we are studying how uh, normal stem cells of the blood, they develop, attempting to uh, find and discover new things about these stem cells, What's, what causes them to become these uh, cells that protect us from infections and these cells that you know, provide oxygen throughout our body. Studying how the normal stem cell develops in the blood will give us some answers possibly to what eventually gives you a disease. My idea, the, my dream job would have been always, and I guess continues to be, um, to be a professor at a university and teach. I grew up in Los Angeles. I know that there's a lot of young uh, minds right there that haven't been exposed to what I've been exposed to. And so one part of my goal is to eventually go back to a community that I grew up in and help uh, guide people towards uh, a more greater diversity in science. My always um, suggestion to young people is to go beyond what you see in front of you because there's always more. Don't settle for the things that are around you, but always strive to reach for more. You never know the doors that are going to open when you, take that, when you take that leap, when you have a little bit of faith and take that leap to something that you have never been exposed to, but you know could be out there.